Hi, my name is Anurban, and I'm part of Team Subsistence, representing the University of Sydney in the National Instruments Autonomous Robotics Competition. Today, I'll be giving a short presentation on how to use the NIMIRIO over Wi-Fi. For this demonstration, you will require an NIMIRIO, a USB cable that comes with the NIMIRIO, and a Wi-Fi router. Once you've connected the NIMIRIO to your laptop via USB cable, you will need to open up your web browser and go to the following IP address 172.22.11.2 This is the default IP address for the NIMIRIO when connected over a USB cable. So once you've activated Silverlight and have the window um, open, uh, this can take a few moments if uh, you're doing this for the first time. You'll be taken to the system configuration page for the NIMIRIO. On the left, there is an Ethernet cable icon, which once you click, you'll be taken to its wireless connection page. Using the wireless network dropdown, you can search for your wireless uh, network. So as you can see, we've set up a wireless network called MyRio using our wireless router. So once I've selected this, I can save my settings and then unplug the MyRio from the USB cable. So once the NI MyRio has been unplugged, you will need to open up NI Max to figure out what IP address it has been given on the network. Again, if you're running this for the first time, it may take a few minutes to launch. Once Max is launched, you'll be able to see your device under Remote Systems. When you click on your remote system, so we've named our NI MyRio Subsistence after our team, you'll be able to see the wireless IP address under the IP4 address in the wireless uh, sub subset of menus. So record this IP address as this is the one you will need to be able to communicate with your device when not plugged in over a USB cable. Once you have recorded your IP address, you are able to disconnect your device from the USB cable. To be able to connect over Wi-Fi, the first thing you need to do is connect to your Wi-Fi network. So we will first connect to the MyRio network. Once you have successfully connected to the network, you can navigate back to your web browser and go to the IP address that you just recorded. Once you have opened the configuration page, you will have the same set of menus that you did over the USB cable. This can take quite a while over Wi-Fi. So as you can see, we've logged in successfully and we have been able to get the same system configuration that we did over the USB cable, except this time we are communicating with the device over Wi-Fi. To be able to use the device over Wi-Fi in a LabVIEW project, you will first need to open a new, a new project. From where, you will have to set the IP address of the device so that you're able to uh, set up VIs and you're, um, access the FPGA in real-time modules as you would when programming over USB. To be able to communicate with the NIMIRIO over Wi-Fi in a LabVIEW project, you will first need to adjust the properties of the MyRio and type in the IP address that you just recorded. Using this IP address, you will be able to successfully connect. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorials in the future.